isang mapagpalang muling pagkabuhay po sa ating lahat. A blessed Easter to one and all. We started our Easter vigil with our lights off. We began in darkness. The darkness represented all that is devoid of light. Sinful thoughts, sinister motivation, terrible deeds, whatever is hidden and secret, deceitful and dishonest, divisive and abusive, immoral or sinful. It is the darkness of our world or perhaps it is the darkness of our own in our own heart. Darkness also reminds us of the situation of the world without God. When Jesus, the Son of God, died on the cross, there was darkness in the world. It was dark not only because the sun failed to shine because of an eclipse, according to the account of St. Luke, chapter 23, verse 24, but also because evil seemed to have triumphed. It was dark because the closest and trusted friends of Jesus turned their back on him. Judas betrayed Jesus. Peter denied him. The other apostles ran away and deserted Jesus. It was dark because of the people's fickle-mindedness, people's inconstancy. It was dark because the Jewish authorities and religious leaders conspired to fabricate stories to build up cases and accusations against Jesus. It was dark because Pilate, who had all the power to save Jesus from the hands of all those who were crying for his blood, refused to assume responsibility and simply washed his hands. It was very dark for the apostles and the other disciples because Jesus, their hope, died, and all their hope died with him. In the Gospel reading, however, when Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to the tomb of Jesus, they saw that the angel rolled back the stone of Jesus' tomb. The stone was rolled away, and that is what resurrection for us is that resurrection means the huge stone that separated humanity from God, the stone that stood between God and the human race, the stone that buried, covered mankind in the dark tomb is now removed, is now rolled away. And Jesus, who is the eternal light, who is the light of the world, has conquered darkness and invites us all to rise from the darkness of our tomb and live in His light. There is, however, a doubt that darkens Easter. And it is not a doubt that Jesus rose from the dead. For there are Sufficient proofs and convincing evidence in the life of the disciples and of the church that Jesus indeed rose to life again. We see the chains. We see the disciples' chains walking in newness of life as a new creation and filled with the Holy Spirit that the evidence that they were changed by the risen Christ is huge and convincing. The doubt, therefore, that cast its shadow over Easter is the doubt 
that you and I can rise to new life in Jesus. Can we really become a new creation? Can we really walk in the newness of life? Can we really be changed and filled with the Holy Spirit? Because we feel that the stone in our life is so huge, too big, too heavy, that Jesus rose from the dead. It's not difficult to believe, but we doubt that we can rise to new life with Him. That can the God of Genesis, who separated darkness from light, the God who brought this beautiful world into being from nothing, can make us a new creation and give us a new life? The resurrection says, yes. If God created the universe, He can surely recreate us and give us new life. Can the God of Exodus, who delivered the Hebrew people from slavery and bondage, deliver us from the bondage of sin? The resurrection of Jesus says, yes, God who freed the Hebrew people can also free us from the bondage of sin. That because of the resurrection of Jesus, we can experience the power of Genesis. Because of the resurrection of Jesus, we can experience the exodus from the bondage of sin in our life. That because of the resurrection of Jesus, the stone in our life, no matter how heavy, no matter how huge, no matter how big, can be rolled away. But brothers and sisters, what makes our life dark? What keeps us living in the darkness of our tomb? Many of us are living in the darkness because of our lack of faith and trust in God. Because of hopelessness and despair and our darkness may be caused by our bad habits and attitudes, by our inappropriate and immoral relationship, by the guilt and anger that we harbor in our hearts. Our darkness can be caused by our repeated sins. Many of our brothers and sisters are living in darkness because of poverty, because of sickness, because of ignorance, lies, inequality, injustice, selfishness, indifference, and the lack of concern for each other. Easter, therefore, invites us all to a life of total witnessing to the risen Jesus. We are to live a life of hope, of commitment, of fidelity to God, and to our fellow men. Easter challenges us to rise from a life of negativity, hopelessness, doubt, and mediocrity. Let us therefore ask God to send us His angels to remove the stone in our life, the stone that stands our way to get out of the darkness of our tomb and rise to new life in Jesus.